What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with an LSP for tutorial. Today guys by request um, I'm going to be showing you how to install the AI traffic fluidity and discipline. Uh, whoever it was out there that asked me to do this I seen you in my comment section today but I forgot to screenshot your comment so I cannot remember who it was that asked me to do this. Uh, but when you see this video please say yo it was me that requested it and uh you know that way i know it was i know who it was because i cannot remember your name to save my life with that said guys and girls go ahead and click the link in the description below it's going to bring you to this page right here ai traffic fluid and discipline now what does this mod do so this mod makes your traffic flow more smoothly and more realistic light so instead of your ais running over everything and crashing each other they don't do it i wouldn't say completely not do it but not near as much with this mod uh, now, it does help with this mod if you do have Queer the Way V installed, okay? So, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, so, let's scroll down, guys. Well, right here, guys, just click download the file. And you want the one that says a version 8.zip. You want to click download here. And then put it on your desktop or somewhere where you know how to get to it. And next, we are going to need our GT... I'm sorry, not our GT5 main directory. You are going to need OpenIV. Now, if you do not need OpenIV, pay attention to the top right corner of this video. And it will take you to my video showing you how to install OpenIV, how to put in your mods folder, and how to have all your patches. Because in order to install this, in order to install this mod, you have to have OpenIV mods folder and all your patches. Okay. With that said, for those who are ready to go, go ahead and open up your OpenIV, and let's open up our WinRAR for our AI traffic fluidity and discipline. Okay. Once you open it up, double click on this folder right here. And let's open up that README, all right? Let's open up the README. And there's going to be a couple pathways that we got to follow here, okay? So the first one's going to be for padpersonality.ymt. Now let's minimize our README and go back to our WinRAR and open up the folder that says Files for AI Traffic, okay? And these are the three files we're going to be dropping right here today, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So let's open up that README again if I can uh, get back to it wherever it went. Where did that README go? Right here, okay. So the first pathway we're going to go to is this right here. We're going to do our pet personality. Now the second pathway, we're going to skip that one and we're going to come back to it. I'm going to show you the proper pathway with it because that is wrong. I'm not too sure what is up with these modders. Yeah, whatever they're doing with these mods when they're doing these. But they need to make sure these pathways are correct because if this was a new modder doing this, they would go ahead and drop the file and they're probably really making their game completely unstable. Uh, so with that said, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and follow the first pathway right here, guys and girls, which is going to be our mod. We're going to be for our pet personality.ymt. All right. So go over here to your open IV. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, make sure your edit mode is turned on. If your edit mode is not on, then you will not be able to drop any files into your open IV. Okay. So make sure your edit mode is turned on. Now with that said. We're going to follow this first pa first pathway right here for pedpersonality.ymt, okay, over here. So we want to go to mods. We want to go to update, update.rpf, time64, data, and metadata, okay? Right here, you're going to see your personality.y, pedpersonality.ymt right there. That's the one we're going to be dropping to, okay? All right. So get your README right here, guys. Over here, grab your README and just minimize it. Don't close it, just minimize it, okay? And you want to grab the pedpersonality.ymt from your WinRAR and pull it into your OpenIV just like this, okay? And you're going to just simply drop it in, all right? Now, let's go back into our OpenIV and go to Mods. Go back to Mods, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the pathway for your vehicle handling info.meta, okay? So you want to go to Mods. And then you want to go to common.rpf. Now, if you do not have the common.rpf in the side of your car, in your uh, open IV right here, go to the side column right here. You'll see the common.rpf. Click on it. And it's going to say either copy to mods folder or show in mods folder. Whichever one it says, just click it, okay? Then after that, after it copies over or shows in there, you want to click on data. And then you want to click AI. And if you'll look right down here, you will see your vehicle handling info.meta. That is the file that we want to drop to, okay? So, with that said, go back to your WinRAR and grab the vehicle handling, handling info.meta from your WinRAR, pull it into your OpenIV, and just simply drop it in like that. 
Now, last but not least, we're going to be dropping this vehicles.meta file. Okay, so go back over your open IV and go back to mods. And you want to go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, levels, then GTE 5. Right down here, guys, again, you're going to see the vehicles.meta file. That is a file you will probably use a lot when modding LSPDFR and GT5, okay? That vehicles.meta plays a very important part in modding, all right? So once you see that file, go back to your WinRAR, guys. Grab the vehicles.meta file from your WinRAR, pull in your open IV, and drop it in, all right? And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for that. Go ahead and close out of your WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut and go to your open IV. And I'm going to go all the way back. And go to file and click close all archives, close out. And if you have your directory open, guys, you can go ahead and refresh it. And then you can, uh, well, that was my copy, but let me go to my, okay. If you have your directory open, guys, you can go and refresh it. That was my copy. And always, guys, always, always, always clean out your recycle bin, okay? Always, it's very important to do it. With that being said, I'm going to take you guys to the game. We're going to test out this model. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So as you guys can see, the traffic moves right over, and it's a lot more controlled. I'm just going to go to Code 2 here, guys, and show y'all. Look at there. Even the truck got over. Look at that. Even the truck got over. Right? See how more controlled it is, guys? And even in Los Santos, it, it's, it's even controlled down there. So it's actually a really cool mod to have. Now, I will warn you guys... For those who actually make it to the in-game showcase and watch it, uh, if you once you install AI traffic fluid and discipline, you're probably not gonna get very many speeders, if any at all, with your radar, because that's how well it controls the traffic. So just be aware of that. Um, with that said, guys, I think that's gonna do it. Subscribe if you're new, smash that like button for me, click that bell, and click all so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, there's dinner. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. We'll see you all in the next video.